Yeah. Misbar off the mark, and off the mark in confident fashion. He'll pick up two. Hit. Over mid off. Misbar likes to go over the top. Didn't quite middle it though. So, a moral success to Isodi. Where's the shot one? Uh, that's punched away by Misbar. Didn't get it entirely off the middle of the bat. Uh, in all uh, test cricket, maybe at par with some of the best. Now, this really is slogged over the rope for a six. He likes that area. Waited his time, bided his time, and then bang. Hit quite a few in the last previous innings here. It's taken him about 33 balls to hit his first one today. There's the sweep shot, and he plays it well. Away from the field. Uh, that'll uh, hit the fence now. Should. Yes, it does. Square leg was in, and so he's gone a little finer. Normal sweep shot, and let this man up. And just a variation that Mispa also has with sweep shots. The reverse sweep, the little paddle sweep, and that, that normal sweep. So... Catch it is the call. This should be taken. Oh no! There's a confusion between the two fielders. Everything, everything going long for New Zealand. Miss Bar thought that that was it, and oh, he's he's not even got a hand on it. Goes for the, a big, big shot. Will this be taken? Avoids the fielder. Tim Saudi just circling around that one. Get it. Sliced off the outside edge. Oh, goodness me, it's dropped. Nisham. Well, that's twice in two overs. Misbar has benefited in the commentary position. And he takes a deep breath. <sighs> Thanks, Mergers. Yes. Miss the previous Saudi Open. Look at this one. This actually goes to hand. A fielder gets in. Nisham. Absolute shocker. Got to take those. It's Ms. Barr's response. Have some of that. And that rubs salt in the wound. Yeah, tough for the young bowler. Sodi. This level. New to it. Should have had the Pakistan captain not once but twice in the space of two overs and now and then drill down the ground for four more and then uh, perhaps to clear haven't seen that for a while and there's another misfield and it's going to cost four I think that was uh, Mark Craig. Keeps working. And so does Mispa. Lovely square drive that uh, it's the fence. Yet another boundary. We've had 46 fours and a couple of maximums in this uh, Pakistan first innings. Mispa's gone into the 40s. It's 196 runs in the day now for Pakistan. A little bit of width and he took advantage. Feature for Pakistan over the last so many years. That's a big shot. Miss Paul Huck has got that one just about making it to the fence. Or is it? No. <laughs> I don't uh, play golf, uh, Brian, so that would be what uh, uh, a wage, I think. Yes, very lofted club, that's for sure. Absolutely stone dead. Nicely done by Corey Anderson. Tumbling away.
Pakistan really have employed the sweep very, very effectively in this innings. That's a full toss, and uh, that'll be controlled by the man in the deep. Some would say that if you can't pick wickets in Asia, in subcontinent, in UAE, then... Hanson. And hits the fence pretty quickly. From Misper. New ball or old, that was smashed. Got it right in the middle. And it's raced to the fence and brought up the 150 partnership as well. Smashed that to the covers. Half volley and he's absolutely launched himself into it. His favourite strokes, and it's a little sloppy from Tim Southey. Just reflecting on what's gone down with the drop catch from Nisham, and it's got a little untidier from then on by the tourists. Another boundary for Misper takes him into the 80s. Yeah, the first sweep of Brendan McCullum and 162 overs in the field, and it's showing. Running ragged. a short one we've seen that from Anderson and Nisham gets punished trying a bouncer here to Misper he's hit that well and right in the gap Lance around the corner racing to the fence for four more Misper into the 90s now. Goes ahead of Eunice Khan. Little leg glance, nicely deflected, and it's raced away to the fence. Consecutive boundaries closing into that 100 mark now. And Yep. He gets it as well, with a stroke down the ground. Miss Balhak gets a hundred, three in a row, and family is happy. The entire Pakistan cricket fraternity is happy for him because he's had it tough the last few weeks. And uh, well, what a magical turnaround it has been for Pakistani skipper, getting runs, getting wins and getting it done for Pakistan and with that he ends the innings also so it's a declaration Pakistan declare the innings at 566 for the loss of three Miss Baha 100 Yunus Khan yet another 100 Miss Baha drives that one very confidently doesn't carry to the boundary there it is but the 100 was already on because he only needed one and he took three and so Miss Baha also gets 100 along with Yunus Khan 566